Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all LEGO games for the Nintendo Wii. LEGO Rock Band is what you would expect from a Rock Band game. It's awesome. The LEGO formula works like a charm even in a game like Rock Band. The notes were replaced by LEGO tiles, and now you get some humorous cutscenes in the style of LEGO games. On the customization department you have plenty of options, but beware that you can't play the game unless you have instruments. You can't play the game just with Wii modes. You need plastic instruments special, specially designed for the game. And after you've got your instruments, it's a really fun game to play with your friends. Also this game is great for kids, as the games were filtered to be family friendly. Which means that the songs won't be about sex, drugs, alcohol or whatever your kid shouldn't be doing. And you can also download more family friendly songs. Overall the game is great, just like any rock band game. And the LEGO specific humor makes the game worthwhile. Bionicle Heroes is a shoot em up. The game is set in 7 distinct locations and at the end of each location you get a boss fight. But don't get excited. While the game would be nice for a kid, for anyone older it would be a very boring game. The game doesn't offer a challenge at all. You collect lego pieces and get into hero mode. The hero mode grants you permanent invincibility till the end of a level and the game even encourages you and even drags you to get that hero mode. Which means that even in boss fights you are invincible anyway. You just have to shoot. This renders the game to a patience game as you have to collect enough lego pieces and have to wait for the boss to make his animation so that you can strike. Also the game is glitchy with you falling off the map or your character disappearing. But on the plus side it's nice to have 8 characters that behave the same but they have distinct looks. Overall the game is decent. It's good for a kid. For an adult, only if you're a fan of the Bionicle franchise, but it's still disappointing. The Bionicle franchise can offer way more than what this game offered. And as for the other LEGO games, it's really hard for me to review them individually, as they are pretty much the same in gameplay. But even if they are the same, they aren't repetitive, that's the charm of the LEGO games. Each one of them is unique, is a unique gem that deserves to be played and replayed. And not only by kids, but by adults too. The awesome humor with no lines always makes you giggle. And the gameplay is simple and enjoyable. You destroy stuff, collect studs, build stuff, solve puzzles, the gameplay is amazing. And they managed to integrate this formula to lots of franchises. And each LEGO installment is amazing. It's one of those games that only doing what it was always doing keeps the game fresh. I mean each game is already fresh because it integrates the same formula but in different ways in different franchises. Sure LEGO Marvel Super Heroes proves that the LEGO formula is way more capable than what we've seen in the older generations. But still, even if these games on the Wii don't have free room, or the huge scale LEGO Marvel Super Heroes managed, they are still amazing games, that are still fun to play even today. And I disagree with reviewers like IGN that accuse the game of not having online. Sure, an online co-op would have been a nice addition, but just talking down on a game just because it doesn't have online is not fair. Playing LEGO games in co-op still remains one of the most fun gaming experience I had when I was a kid. Playing LEGO Star Wars or other LEGO games in co-op with friends or with my cousins was so fun I didn't felt the need for online. Some games are projected to be this way, to be played in co-op. Plus that the LEGO games are kids games. They are, the kids are the target audience. Online interactions are unstable. You can encounter a troll that ruins your entire experience and can render your kid to tears. 
Anyway, I'm not saying that online co-op wouldn't have been a nice addition, but the games shouldn't be considered flawed just because they don't have it. And this is where the video originally ended. But thanks to Spider Technical Gamer who reminded me that I missed the game, now there is one more. I said in the video that the LEGO games on the Wii don't have free roam. I was wrong. The Wii also has LEGO Batman 2, a LEGO game on the Wii that has free roam. You get 50 characters to play with and each one has special abilities, some of them even fly like Superman or Green Lantern so that you can enjoy the free roam to the fullest. And overall, the Wii version of the game is pretty much identical in content to the other versions. Which is great, the only difference is that on the Wii the graphics are downgraded and you get motion controls. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.